Greetings and welcome to A Moment at the Hasegawa House. I'm Kathy Arlen Sokol, your host for this segment with Venetia Stanley Smith, who is known throughout Japan and the world for her long running NHK TV program, Neko no Shippo Kairo no Te, from which she broadcast to millions her message of living with and in nature. Over the 40 years Venetia and I have been friends, I have interviewed her several times. This interview at the Hasegawa House, which is her last before entering an assisted care facility, is an intimate glimpse into the woman simply known as Venetia. Enjoy. You, Venetia Stanley Smith, are an extremely important part of the growing consciousness in Japan. You have given a whole generation of children that have now grown up and had babies. You gave them a vision, you know? Mm. So, that vision of living naturally, eating well, being in the countryside, breathing fresh air, you know, this has been your legacy to this generation. And you, Venetia, have been in Japan for 50 years. <laughs> what, what is it that you love about this country? <clears throat> Uh, the people are nice. Uh, the people are very gentle, most of them anyway, <laughs> gentle to each other. And, and I'm in a situation now where I can't see very well, but still people try to help. So. I, and I don't know how long I'm going to this this um, uh, what you call it the strange this strange disease this PCA PCA I didn't know PCA that. that's what posterior cortical atrophy mm -hmm. that PCA. you were diagnosed with PCA yeah. in the beginning it had no problem and. It really started seriously yesterday. Mm. And about um, uh, what is the greatest difficulty for you? Oh, I can't see properly. And how does that make you feel? Well, um, Everybody has a time when they get ill or sick or some reason. So maybe this is the time for me. Mm. So I'm hoping that I'm waiting to go to this, um, what's it called? <laughs> oh, to the Niji home. I'm going to the Niji home. And they'll be able to look after me whether it's morning or night. Right now I, I don't see at night and I don't see things like even yesterday. Now, yesterday I was with Charles and we went for a walk and I could see mm -hmm. but I don't know what's going to happen today. Well, today you are in the Hasegawa house <laughs> and you told me, Kathy, this isn't a house. 
This is a magic place. Mm. Well, it is a magic house. Mm. So, um, it would be nice if people would come here and... What makes you happy? Uh, what makes you happy, Venetia? Well, today I saw Kretschmer. Mm -hmm. She was very... Your granddaughter. My granddaughter. <laughs> mm. Mm. So it was nice to see her. And I can kind of see her, you know. It's like, it's difficult to explain. You can see, but you can't see. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you kind of fill in the image in your mind, perhaps? What you can't see, you use your mind's imagination to see. Oh, but, but mm, I try to do that, but I, I'm never sure, like, when I go to sleep. Mm. I'm kind of, will I be able to wake up hmm. and see it, it, as it as it is? And I don't know. At night, I don't know. So, um... Does meditation give you rest? Do you, do you have a moment where you can be relaxed and not worried? Yeah, if I do meditation, then it it helps. But at the same time, it's kind of scary because it's getting worse. Hmm. Up until now, it's never been this bad. So you and Tadashi, you bought that house in Ohara to live in and to grow old in and... Now that you have grown older, what do you feel about your home in Ohara? Well, I'm hoping that I'm not going to stay in my house. Um, Does that make you sad? No, because I, <laughs> it's, I, I want to be in a situation where I know that I'll be all right. Hmm. Right now, I don't have it. So... Do you feel right now, in this house with me and Rebecca and Shinkichi-san, do you feel safe and okay and taken care of? Yeah, because you're all friends and <laughs> you're all there, you know. Hmm. Um, but at night, you know, you can't, everybody has to go to, go home and just go back to work and do what they have to do. So, um, NHK wants me to uh, no, I'm not sure, two, two days, he wants, she, he wants, they want me to to, to say something or Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I can do that. Well, you know, there's no reason to worry about it because you're not doing that right now. Yeah. So and when you do it, I believe that you have always had grace in your life. I believe, and you believe that. You have recognized grace, and grace is like this wind that carries you along. And whatever situation you find yourself, there will be grace, Venetia. Yeah, I hope so. There will be. There will be, because you are protected and you are loved. And that's a fact. Mm. So that is the question, you know. If, if, as you reflect upon your life, is there anything you would have done differently? Well, I well, I can't say that y yes, I accept because this this happened, you know, it's happening in the last two or three days. 
Well, you had told me that you thought that because you were always so busy, that that's one of the reasons that you got sick. Do you think that if you had a chance, would you be as busy as you were? Well, at the time I thought I was doing things to help, to, to, do, to do something, but right now I think it's me that needs something to do something for me. <laughs> Let us support Venetia, because we do. And that is, you know, all of the friends, your husband, Hadashi, your daughter, Julie, all of these people have come to rally around you. Mm. Like tomorrow, to, to, tomorrow we're going to s sleep in my house. I'm really happy because I know that will be all right. If you're there... Oh, I'm coming to spend the night, yes. <laughs> yeah, if you're there, I'll be all right. Mm. Yes, you will. And you're always all right. And, um, and then maybe just... If we were together, then maybe you'd be able to see what's happening with me. Because mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Well, in this kind of uncertainty that, that you're living right now, what is the message that you would like to share with other people about the value of life. Mm. Mm. Don't work too much. No. Remember love beyond work. Mm. Mm. Well, each day is I'm just waiting to see and but it's okay if I, if to me, if I, it's not that I want to die, but if I do die, then fine. I did my best. I, um, I tried to do what I could do. And if that's the situation, then that's the situation, you know? So it's not something I'm afraid of. It's like, something that if it happens it happens and uh, just to see each day how it goes well let us proceed with this day mm -hmm. and as the scroll behind us says every day is a good day mm -hmm. arigato gozaimasu <laughs> venetia